Hey you guys, let's get started in a seated position. Cross leg or sitting um, on your knees, hips to heels, whatever feels comfortable today. Arms, or rather hands to your thighs or your knees. Take some shoulder shrugs. Close your eyes, drop your chin slightly towards your chest. Seal your lips and breathe in and out of your nostrils. Feel your breath on your upper lip. Pay attention to the quality of your inhales and the slowness of your exhales. Three more breaths. Blink your eyes open. If you're sitting on your heels, come to a cross leg position. For seated cat cow, hands to your kneecaps. Inhale, pull your chest forward, lift your gaze up. As you exhale, straighten your arms around your back, look in towards your belly button. Inhale, seated cow, chest forward, arch your back. Exhale, round shoulders in. One more, inhale up. Exhale back. Keep your hands on your knees and you'll take some trunk rotation. So rotating towards your right hand, chest towards the ground and then around to the left. So in this counterclockwise motion to start. Good, and then reverse other way. Chest towards your left hand, over to the right, and then back. One more full circle. Good, then sit upright. Inhale, reach your arms high. As you exhale, twist to your right. Left hand hooks on the outside of your right thigh. Right hand comes back behind your tailbone. Inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, twist, look towards your right shoulder. Hold here. You're holding your twist, but your breath is still fluid and soft. Good, inhale, reach arms high. Twist to your left, right hand, right forearm hooks. Left hand by your tailbone, chest tall. Exhale, twist. Good, come back to center. Take eagle arms. So you can watch first. Right arm comes under your left. Cross at your elbows, cross at your wrists. Your palms can touch, or you can just grab opposite shoulders. So you're trying to get a stretch between your shoulder blades. Whichever variation you're at, push your elbows away from your body. You can drop chin to chest. And then play with uh, where your elbows are, maybe farther up farther down towards your chest might feel good as well. One more breath in and out. Uncross your arms, reach wide. Good, and then switch left arm under, cross at your elbows, palms touch or grab shoulders. One side might feel a little bit different. Same thing, push your elbows forward, chin towards your chest. 
adjust your elbows as needed, whatever would feel good. Good, then slow release. Hands behind you, face your fingers away from you and lean back, lift your chest up, stretch your collarbones, or stretch through your collarbones rather. Good, and exhale, release. Make your way into downward facing dog, plant your hands, curl your toes, lift your hips up, pedal your feet. Bend one knee, then the other. Chest back towards your thighs. Push into all the knuckles in your fingers. Inhale, look towards your hands. Lift your heels up really high. Ragdoll, step your toes behind your wrists. Feet wide, bend your knees, and interlace your hands behind the nape of your neck. So using that extra weight of your arms to traction your spine a bit more. Bend your knees, shift forward, and sway side to side. Good. release your hands towards your mat and just hang. Release through your low back. You can straighten your legs a little bit more. That'll give you more of a stretch through the back of your legs. Good, toe heel your feet in a little bit closer together. Breathe in, lift your left heel up to the ceiling. Exhale, IT band, stretch left foot behind your right pinky toes closer touching. Fingers can be six inches in front of your toes or walk them to the right as far over as it feels good. Good, come back to center, uncross your legs. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, IT band, stretch, other side, pinky toes close. Option to walk your hands over to the left, big stretch. Good, back to center. Uncross your legs, take a seat, we'll move into um, a sleeping frog. So for this pose, I'll show you from this angle, knees wide as you can get them, and then big toe side of your foot, of uh, both feet down on the ground. And you want your knee and ankle in one line, so you don't want your ankles too far in or too far out, just in one line. Knees wide, and then come down to your elbows, Push your hips back and hold there. Get a nice stretch through your hips, through your inner thighs. This is a really good time to bring in your breath. Acts as a nice tool to move through any discomforts. Something to focus on. If you feel like you've come forward a bit, keep pushing your hips back. Three more breaths. Good, come up to your hands. 
pull your knees in. Ooh. Take a seat on your heels. Pause. Good, swing your legs out in front of you. Flex your toes. Pull your butt out from underneath you. Breathe in, reach your arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your feet, your calves, your ankles, whatever is accessible. First, breathe in, reach your chest forward. And exhale, round chin to chest. Good, slowly walk your hands up your legs. Cross your legs, hands to your knees or hands to your heart. Let's finish with five breaths. Take them really slow, pausing between each. Last one in, let it go. Stay here and breathe for a little bit longer. If you're ready, hands to your hearts. The light in me to the light in you, namaste.